I'd like to officially launch the live stage now. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Pete Ray Biggin. Yeah. What I'm up to at the minute is uh, a few different things. I've got my, uh, obviously I'm doing my level 42 stuff. Uh, I've got some Shaka Khan uh, a tour coming up uh, in a couple of months, which will be in May uh, of England. Also, I've got some bits with Incognito in the diary. Also, my own band, the PB Underground, which uh, the album's getting made now. We're doing lots of sellout shows in London. Hopefully, take it on the road soon. And a new project called uh, Lola's Day Off, which we've uh, just recorded an amazing cover. After all the gigs I've got told off from playing like a, a nutcase is how you learn how not to play on gigs. So I think just it's important, you know, when you're in your 20s and just to let it all out because you'll be doing these little gigs where you can just play and you, just, you need to just, get, you know, if your head needs to turn more mature for when you hit the bigger gigs to actually just go, you know what, I'm just going to play groove tonight and I'll just, at the end of the song, I'll do a couple of little things and because at the end of the day, you're not playing for yourself anymore, you're playing for an artist who's paying you money. Uh, well, I moved out like 10 years ago to join uh, a band called Rain and uh, we were just basically lived in a house uh, and all the gigs we had would pay the rent. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to come to the big smoke as a young musician so it's sometimes good to come to something because it sort of takes the pressure off a little bit. But um, yeah, that's how I came to London and I sort of did the band thing and then I uh, after a few years of being in London, I started mixing with other different musicians because that's the point. Come to London, you need to mix with different people. There's no point just staying with one crowd because, you know, I think you just got to get out and, and that's how you make your uh, contacts and network. And all of a sudden, I was, the next thing, I was doing Amy Winehouse because I'd worked with a bass player the night before. You know, so it all sort of drops into place. You just got to meet people. I think it's all down, it's not necessarily down to how good you are as a drummer, I think it's, it's, it's about getting out there and speaking to people and just being cool. I'm not saying I'm cool, but I'm just saying it's like you need to get out there and talk to people and, and let people know you're in town or, or, or see you play at a jam session. Sense of enormous wealth. 